I'm really excited to talk to you about Caleb Williams because yeah. when it comes to this guy, it feels like the quarterback problem has been solved yeah. for Chicago. GM's talking about it. There's confidence there. Mm -hmm. What can he bring to this Bears squad that, I mean, let's be honest, the future's looking really bright, not just now, but for a long time. Kind of what the Bears fans need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think for a long time we've been like high on on certain players and then it ends up not panning out. Like I did like Justin Fields. I'm mm -hmm. from Ohio, right? Like I, he was a Buckeye. So I just feel like the pieces weren't around him to make it happen. And the front office and the GM didn't make it work for him. Now I think he had some trouble in the pocket and he took a lot, a lot of time. Um, definitely more of a run first quarterback, but Caleb is both and you're seeing his progression and you're seeing how he's on hard knocks, kind of taking in the information and working with a lot of these coaches and, He's like absorbing everything and he's not too big for it. Yes, he's kind of a celebrity from USC who is, has his nails painted and he's like more, you know, eccentric. And that's great because yeah. I think Chicago is used to people like that. Like we had Dennis Rodman on the Bulls. Like it's okay to have this guy who's a little bit loud and different and bring energy into the locker room because the guys have all really responded well to it. Like you see how he's bonded with. Cole Komet and the backup quarterbacks, Tyson Bajant. So like you see, not only is he like a team guy, but he's also has that confidence and cockiness about him. That's not too much where he's like a diva, but yeah. he has that perfect balance right now. And I'm excited. I know it was just preseason, but like these victories that they had where he wasn't even starting, mm -hmm. well, right, this team has more depth than ever. And Caleb has kind of introduced like the claw thing that he does, you know? Yeah. People love that. Chicago fans love that energy. And so it's like, this is what they've wanted for so long. And I'm just hoping and praying that it ends up, they win a few more games this year. I'm not saying they're Super Bowl contenders. I was going to ask that. So what what does that mean then? Like how much pressure is there? Is it Super Bowl or bust? Are our fans going to give them the leeway a little bit? Is it going to be okay for a while or is it? everything and then or nothing i think chicago fans are going to be really happy with like seven eight nine okay wins. honestly i think they are going to give leeway because they know the nfc north is such a tough division you have the lions who are clearly super bowl contenders they have such a great defense um dan campbell's not hard to root for i mean he's such an awesome coach and you have uh jordan love and the packers who are going to be competitive too i mean it's like the blue blood once again it's back and I think the biggest question is the Vikings and JJ McCarthy. That's where your biggest hole is. So I don't know. I think Chicago fans are going to be lenient. I think they're going to be okay with more wins than last year. They're going to, they're just wanting to see progress. They're yeah. Just cool people but we're really in Chicago. We just want to see progress, you know? Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to see, um, yeah, McCarthy too. Athletic quarterbacks going up against yeah. each other. It's always a good thing.